four. How do the concentrations of Pb2 plus and S2 minus change when K2S is added to a saturated solution of PBS? Okay, so a couple things going on here. The question is asking, what's going to happen to these concentrations? So let's just set that up. I'm going to put that over here. So we're looking for what's going to happen to the Pb2 plus uh, concentration and what's going to happen to the S2 minus concentration. So we have one out of three answers. Is the Pb2 plus going to increase? decrease or remain the same, no effect. And the same thing for the sulfur. Is this going to increase, decrease, or remain the same? Well, let's figure it out. Now, basically what's happening is we're adding a K2S to a saturated solution of PBS. Now, a couple of things here. PBS, not the uh, television show. However, I used to love that as a kid. Uh, Zoom and Arthur coming home after school, that was, that was, uh, you know, the highlight of my day. What about yours? <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so saturated solution. Anytime that we're talking about something being saturated, we're talking about a solubility product, which is the KSP. So for this, we can write the KSP out for PBS which I think would help us out. Now remember, before we write out a KSP expression, let's just write out the balanced equation for what PBS is. Now we have lead to sulfide, which is PBS, right? And since we're saying that it's a saturated solution, PBS is going to start off as a solid. And only a little bit of it is going to dissolve into its two ions, right? Now, let me just, oops. There we go. Now just know that with these KSPs, technically we should see a double arrow. This just signifies that, you know, your PBS that you're starting off with is not a strong acid or base. And they gave us already the ions that we're dealing with. So this would be broken down into Pb2+, plus, that's aqueous. And then we have S2-, minus, that's also aqueous. Okay. Now I knew that these were aqueous because remember, any time that you have a charge, that's always going to be aqueous. So if you see a charge, that's always aqueous. And now, let's see. What's going to happen? Well, let's write out the KSP expression. Or actually, do we need really the KSP expression for this one? Mm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Let's try to do it another way. I think it's easier. Now, we're going to be dealing with what's happening with these, right? So maybe I'm just going to highlight these two, the Pb2 plus and the S2 minus. But the thing is, is that we're actually adding K2S. Now there's a couple of things that we have to know in order to get this correct. K2S, is this soluble or insoluble? This is soluble, remember, when we did that whole thing, I don't know what chapter it was, but this is like Gen Chem 1, in which we had to know whether a, a ionic compound is soluble or insoluble. Remember, all group 1s, K is a group 1. All group 1s are always soluble, no exceptions. So this K2S is going to be aqueous. Remember, aqueous means soluble. So maybe I'll put that down. Aqueous soluble, if they say saturated solution, KSP, that's going to start off as a solid. So that's the difference between these two. And if you have something that's soluble, it will always break down into its ions. And the two ions here would be the group 1, K+, and then the sulfide, right? S2-. minus, And... They have charges, so that would be aqueous and aqueous. So we're getting somewhere. Now the key here is what is the similarity between the ions in PBS and K2S? Well, these ions don't match, right? The cation Pb2 plus is not K. But here, 
is the similarity. For both of these, they both have the S anion. Now, before I do that, if you wanted to actually balance this, because some of you might say, Christina, wait, 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 it's not balanced. That's fine. We'll just put a two in front of here. But you don't really need the balanced equation here to get the answer. The only thing that we have to match up is that these two are the same. Now, if we're adding K2S, that means that this increases. And remember, according to Le Chatelier's principle, which is also, I don't know, way back, chapter 9, the gases chapter, I think. Remember, Le Chatelier's principle, if you add or you have too much of something, you added K2S, remember, you will always shift to the opposite side. You will make on the opposite side. So if you add the K2S, you're going to increase your K+, and you're also going to increase your S-, minus. and that's what matters. So this goes with this, because they're the same. This is called the common ion effect. The common ion effect, which we will probably see um, probably in a different section, but the common ion effect is basically when you're adding a soluble salt with something that's saturated or insoluble, one of the ions will match. If you see a matching ion, that's the common ion effect. So we know already one answer. We know that the sulfide ion, the S2 minus, is going to increase. But now we go back to Le Chatelier's, and we have to now discuss what's going to happen with the PB2 plus because of the increase in the S2 minus. Now it's the same exact idea. We added way too much, but now we're over here. And remember, if you have too much, you always shift to the opposite side. So if I'm adding on the product side, my shift is going to be to the opposite side. So my, my, um, my predominant arrow is going to be going to the, uh, the reactant side, which means that what's going to happen here? If I'm going away from the product side, this would have to decrease. And that is the answer for the PB2+. And there are your two answers. So this is because of the common ion effect. We just had to find out that the S2- minus was in common. But the thing that was hard was that we had to know that K2S was just a soluble, a regular, regular soluble a compound because of the solubility rules. And if you increase that, you increase your products. And then this like cascade effect happens. But that is your answer. All right? So hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.